Welcome to Silco TV. My name is Rachel Gray, and I am the Information Services Librarian here at Silco. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about PC Reliance, how to use it, why you should use it, and how, what to do once you finish using it. So it's uh, going to be hopefully really helpful training for you with PC Reliance. If you do not have access to Horizon for any reason, maybe Horizon is down for maintenance, an upgrade, maybe your internet is down at your library, or some other reason um, that you don't have internet access or access to Horizon. PC Reliance is a very helpful application um, that you can use to go ahead and check out materials to patrons and track the information that they're checking out pretty easily. It is only for checkouts. Please do not use this for checking in items, even though there is a tab for that. Um, that can just cause a lot of problems with um, checkouts, check-ins, making sure that the right person has the item and the like. So please just hold off on checking in items until Horizon is back up and these files have been processed. So um, we've already got PC Reliance installed on my computer here, so I'm going to click on that icon. If you need to get PC Reliance installed on your computer at your library, please let us know. We do have some staff that can come out and do that installation for you and walk you through this as well. So the first thing I see when I open up PC Reliance is the startup wizard. I've got a couple of splash screens to go through. The first one is just a welcome and telling you that you're going to need to verify some information. Click next. Then you want to make sure that your date and time is correct because this, of course, is very important for when you're checking out items. You want to make sure that the due date is right. Hit next. And then it tells you you're ready to go. And then hit finish. As you can see here, I've got a very strict down uh, checkout window. And basically, I'll just be scanning in my barcode, my borrower barcode. And now I will scan in a couple of books here. You can see that my default to due date is three weeks out. You can see 21 days here. But if I've got something else, another item type that is due in a week instead of three, I can scan that in as well. And you can see that the due date is different um, in the due date area here. If I print out my receipts, I can then go up to the printer button and it'll print out the information to the patron, just like Horizon would. And that's it. And as you can see, um, it's really easy to check out information, but you do not see any information on the patron or any information on the book or the item that they're checking out. So there's no way for us to tell if these are correct barcodes. You do want to make sure you're, you're scanning in the, the barcode for checkout and not necessarily the UPC barcode. And also, um, we do not have any way of telling if the patron has items overdue or anything else on their record. So this is very stripped down, um, just letting you basically create a document that can be uploaded in the horizon. If I'm done with this page, I can then click on this little icon here that says next borrower. And you can see that it's ready to go for the next person who has items that they want to check out. If you have a new due date, uh, maybe you've got something that is coming due in two weeks instead of one week or three weeks. Um, I just went into Tools Options, and here's the Due Date tab. I can double click and just type in a description, type in my time, and if I want to make this a default, I can. I'm not going to for this since three weeks is my default here. And I hit OK, and you can see that that just adds it in line. Um, I also have the option on the screen to reset the default loan period. I want to reset it with each borrower. That way, if I have someone who comes through my line, who's got you know both books and DVDs, books and TVs, whatever, it will automatically change back to that three-week due date. So I don't have to keep on remembering to go back and hit that default for three weeks. I'm going to hit Apply here and OK. And you can see that now I've got that F11 for 14 days. So I can either click between these um, radio buttons here, or I can just hit F9, F10, F11 on my keyboard while I'm in PC Reliance, and it will automatically change that due date for me. So I am all done um, 
All right, and then came back up nice and quickly here. So I'm going to go ahead and close out a piece of your lines. I'm just getting that X up here. And yes, I'm ready to close. I'm going to log in to Horizon. And I'm going to go to Circulation, Offline Circulation Control, and then the Offline Circ Upload Utility. I have a really big window here, so let me turn it out so you can see a little bit better. I'm going to go to File, and Upload Transaction File. And then I need to go on my little treasure hunt to find the document. Um, in the setup for PC Alliance, we do set up where these are going and how, you're, um, how to find them. And this information is also available in our directions. So if you've got a directions sheet, you should be able to go off of that as well. And I'm going to the C drive, program files, Epitex, because that's the company that makes PC Alliance. And you can see I just clicked through a couple of things here. I'll go back up here. So program files, Epitex, PC Reliance, data, and I've got this reliance.dat. I'm done uploading. And that's it. That's all I gotta do. So after I process my upload, I can then close out here. And of course we'll contact Selco and let us know that you have um, uploaded your information. Once we get the word from all the libraries who are using PC Reliance that their files have been uploaded, we will then process um, the files so that everyone's circulation is up to date and be correct. We will then get back in touch with you and let you know that you can go ahead and start checking out materials in a normal fashion in Horizon and also checking in your items that you weren't able to check in right now. After um, we run that file, we do ask that you take a look at the offline CERC exception report. Each library is responsible for looking at this on their own, and um, I'm just going to show you what a couple of these exceptions look like so you kind of know what you're looking for. Like this item here, when the, pro when the file was processed, that borrower barcode was fine, but the item barcode was incorrect for some reason. I don't know if these guys are here. So it looks like maybe these guys down here are missing a digit. Anything like that can cause an issue. And sometimes, as you know, when you scan things, it doesn't get every number in the, in the line. Also, if an item is found that was lost, it'll show up here. We've got some things that need to go on a hold shelf. So those are just down. Um, just want to make sure those get transferred over. Same with a transit return. You can see here that we had an invalid borrower. It looks like there's a little accent line before that. And those are going to be the main ones you're going to see. And you can see these check-ins. There's a lot of invalid things there, so that's one of those reasons we don't want to use that at all. And after that, you're basically all done. I'm going to reopen PC Reliance just to show you something else here. When After you upload your files, we do ask that you go back into PC Reliance and clear out this data file. That way, the next time you're using PC Reliance, you don't have to wonder if this file is uploaded or not. So again, you see that I've got my startup wizard. I hit next. Check my calendar, I hit next. And then I get this other screen that I did not see before because I did not have a data file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the existing data and hit next and finish. And then I can just close this out and I'm done. Um, the next time I need to use Peace Your Lives, I'll have a nice clean slate and all will be good. If you have any questions about PC Alliance, feel free to contact the help desk. That's what we're here for. And we look forward to helping you out with PC Alliance. And we also look forward to having you watch another episode of Selco TV.